Hello hi guys, hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel So for today episode review, I'm gonna show to you how to make the perfect serum of Kojic Acid with vitamin A, C and E So this formulation is uh, primarily to prevent the oxidation or any browning So without further ado, let's get started I'm using rose water hydroso. It is very good for our skin. It cleans and brightens skin, soothes irritated skin, balance natural oil, decongested skin pore, tighten skin, moisturizing skin, slow down multiple signs of aging, reduce under eye puffiness and dark circle and so much more. So that's the reason why I'm using uh, hydroso rose water uh, rather than distilled water. I'm using a disodium EDTA. It helps enhance the stability of cosmetic formula. It is water softener and gelatin agent. It makes it easier for preservative to do their job. Disodium EDTA is very essential because it is primarily used to remove the lime scale and any heavy metal in the finalized product. Birdness extract is rich in antioxidant, collagen and amino acid. This property help firm up the skin, fight wrinkle and reduce inflammation. One percent of water soluble koji acid. Koji acid should be diluted to concentration of no more than 4%. A concentration of 1 to 2% is recommended to reduce the change of skin irritation. Koji acid primarily used to lighten and visible the sun damage, edge, spot or scar. This can result in anti-aging effect on the skin. In addition to skin lightening effect, Koji acid also contains some antimicrobial properties. Vitamin A or retinol is used to increase the skin cell production. It helps unclog pores. Retinol also exfoliates your skin and increases collagen production, which can reduce the appearance of fine line and wrinkle, giving you a skin a freshest, plump appearance. While the vitamin C is a kind of protein that naturally present in your skin, Vitamin C applied to the skin can encourage new collagen to grow. It also helps maintain the collagen you do have and protect the precious protein cells from damage. Next is Baba GN 2.0. It has the function of antioxidant and anti browning properties. It is safe and natural ingredient we can apply to food and skin care. It commonly large application as anti browning agent such as cosmetic retaining vitamin C, kojic acid, toner and so much more. This is the combination of two types of sodium hyaluronate which is the low and high molecular. The sodium hyaluronate can enter the deep layer of your skin. Here it attract moisture and reduce inflammation. When applied Topically, sodium hyaluronate is excellent for reducing dryness and wrinkle. So you can find it in product like serum, eye creams and facial cleanser. Next is hydroethyl cellulose is a non-ionic. It's water soluble polymer used as a thickening agent for aqueous cosmetic and personal care formula. It is option. Sodium lactate is a type of humectant, it's moisturizer and slightly skin lightening effect. It will reduce the heaviness in the serum product. Next is a sodium PCA which is function as a humectant, skin hydrating, moisturizing, sleep agent and skin penetration enhance.
Next is methyl propanediol. It functions as emollient and humectant with good antimicrobial properties. It's basically an emulsifier, neutralizer, carrier solvent, and fragrance enhance. This is phenoxytanol, a paraben free preservative. Function as a broad spectrum antimicrobial activity, effective in the control of gram negative organism. So now let's continue to mix the formulation just to make sure all the ingredients are completely dissolved well, like 20 to 30 minutes. Next is 0.3 vitamin E oil. It's a very good antioxidant and very good to our skin. Now for the last ingredient is PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil. It functions as non-ionic emulsifier, a good dispersing agent and solubilizer of fragrance, oil and essential oil. So this is last two week sample of serum I already made. Basically on right side it turned into yellow browning like consistency color which is, is less effective. The oxidation process has already begun. While on the left side is still in good condition. Well Thank you so much guys for watching my video. If you have any questions or inquiry, you can write down a comment below. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and help me better in the future. So, have a nice day guys. Bye.